Yeah. Of many, many um, people in God's word that walk by faith. And as I look at those stories of Moses, of Noah, Rahab, Enoch, and all their walks of faith, I go, wow, those are some challenging um, lives that they lived. And God has called us to, he says, the just, the justified shall live by faith, that we should live by faith in the same way. Now, what I want to um, share with you today sometimes is just saying faith or saying I believe in God does not mean that we have faith in God. I'll give you an example. Um, I think it was this past week, Rennell and I was riding in the, in, in, in the vehicle, and, and we had the grand, but Kayla was in the back. And, um, and she was sharing some things. We were talking to her about, you getting ready to go to pre-K in a few years. You, um, next year, you need to start learning your ABCs. She said, I know my ABCs. So she started singing them. We said, no, well, you got to know more than just what they are. you got to know what they mean, how they sound, and how they're used. And she kept saying, no, I know my ABCs. And she kept singing it over and over, ABC. So anyway, faith is kind of the same, th same thing. I, I thought that was a pretty picture of how sometimes we got to be careful. Just saying I have faith or just saying I believe in God, is that the faith that can save us? And um, God's word is perfectly clear if we look at it and study it out because um, it says that even James says that even the demons believe in God. But they're not going to have eternal life. The difference is you can believe in something or believe of something that happened or believe of an event, but to believe in, in someone and to trust in someone means that you're willing to give up yourself and to willing to die. That's what happened to, if you look at all these people in Hebrews 11, faith. Moses was able, able, willing to give up his life and do what God said to do. Noah was willing to give up his life, and they did, and do what God asked us to do. That's what real faith is. Faith is giving up our own self and transforming our mind to God's word and doing what he says we can do. So where does faith come from? And this answers it right here. In Romans 10, one of our famous chapters, in Romans 10, 17, says, So faith then cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God. True faith comes by hearing God's word. So we've got to hear God's word. And in a time like this that our, um, the, the world is in, we're either hearing things on all kind of news networks, or we're either hearing God's word. And where faith in God is going to come and it's going to grow 